Alina Yaakob, Singapore's eighth president, bows out after a stupendous six years. Who will replace her? We have three candidates. Walebe Tadam, Chan Mugaratnam, the DAP candidate, but who only quit DAP party one month ago. He's obviously the government's favorite. The other candidate is Tan King Lian, who is backed by the opposition and who is an outsider who has a very slim and remote chance of getting enough votes. Now, the third candidate, Ng Kok Song, is the only non-partisan candidate. He's not affiliated to any party, he has never belonged to any political party and if he's voted in, it will be a major watershed moment for Singapore presidency. <laughs> Mr. Tan he is the former NTUC income chief executive <coughs> officer and he has no chance of winning because he just doesn't have <coughs> the experience, the know-how as his other two rivals unfortunately so we can write him off <coughs> i really wonder whether singaporeans will well enough singaporeans will vote in taman the kind of incumbent and obviously government favorite uh especially since the government has been um involved in some scandals recently so maybe it's time for them to vote for somebody who is not government backed like he is being the ex senior minister and even the finance minister so he may know his stuff but his affiliation may be too strong to the government so he won't provide the objectivity that's required when the government may ask in future crisis to withdraw funds from the reserves. The most interesting candidate is Mr. Ng Kok Song. He's been in the government GIC as a CEO head for, for 20 years and over and it was before that he was in the <coughs> MAS the, the, the assets money management government organization so he's got all the savvy know-how of finance but most importantly he is not aligned to any party so if Singaporeans really want someone who is not biased then this is the man that they want I imagine there will be a more future crisis and I'm afraid the government will try and draw from the reserve funds but he is one guy who will need the government will really need to fight hard to justify any request for withdrawal because he is very much against taking money out of the reserves and gamble on the future of Singapore so 
let's see this is going to be a very very um big vote for singaporeans for this particular presidential election is like no other as mr kok song has said the past three of the five presidents have been walkovers and dap backed government backed have won the presidency so is it time for singapore to arise rise above the politics and give the opportunity to someone who is non-partisan to lead and chair the highest office state official office The voter turnout is very high, 85%. So whoever Singaporeans choose as their next president, the candidates will are very of high caliber. All of them are very good. So whoever wins it, Singapore will be in good hands and they will represent singapore very well at home and internationally so good luck may the best man win i know who i want but i'm not singaporean so i have no vote but you know i'm very curious to see whether singaporeans will continue to not take any risk or are they going to take a risk on an unknown candidate who probably would work better for the future of Singapore amidst a global crisis
Sick of 